Hello, and welcome to Cooking with KY3. With yeah. me, of course, is Chef Nicole Young. She's going to lead us through what sounds like it could be easy, but looks like it's a little overwhelming at this point. We are gonna do a couple of boards. We're gonna do a bagel spread board, and then we're also gonna do a yogurt board. And the mm. idea behind this is you wanna have a bunch of people over to your house. Maybe you don't wanna be in the kitchen all day, right? Right. And if you've got a big family or group gathering, sometimes it's hard to keep the hot food hot and all that stuff. And these are all things that can stay out on your counter for you know an hour, hour and a half, things like that, and are still delicious and wonderful. And people can just kind of graze and visit and be together, which okay. is what you want on holidays anyways, okay. right? So let's start with our bagel spread boards. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to take your cream cheese uh -huh. and we're gonna make it into a couple different kinds of cream cheese. So we've got two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese here. I've let this sit out on the counter for at least two hours. You want it to be soft enough that we can whip it up because we're gonna whip it before we actually put any flavoring in it. Okay. So we've got it in our dish here. You kinda of wanna push it down just a little bit with your mixer before you go crazy. But we wanna get it good and whipped. And we do wanna whip a little bit of air into this just so that it's really easy to work with. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and just kinda knock some of the whipped cream out of the beater there because we want to make sure that we get to use all of this nice yummy whipped cream. You're not going to throw it all over the kitchen? I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I would always recommend taking the, the beaters out of the hand mixer and tapping them off that way so you don't risk turning it on yeah. and flying cream cheese everywhere. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take some of this cream cheese just plain and this is called a spread board because we are going to take our board and we're gonna spread our spreads on the side of it, right? Okay. And the idea behind this is that you can take your bagels or your breads or whatever it is and just kind of drag it right through the spread. So that's plain, that's number one. This is a thing today, right? This is a thing, yeah. These spread boards are definitely a trend. We are gonna take some of our cream cheese and put it in some bowls here because we are going to mix it and make some flavored cream cheeses as well. Mm, I can only imagine. Yeah, these are gonna be delicious. I can't wait for you to see these. And they're so simple. I mean, it really doesn't take a whole lot to get a couple of really great flavored cream cheeses. You just kind of gotta get your cream cheese and your ingredients ready. So number one, we're gonna make strawberry cream cheese. Okay. This is just strawberry jam. Yummy. Super simple, whipped cream cheese with our strawberry jam. And we are just going to mix these two together. You wanna keep mixing until it's, it's completely incorporated the strawberry jam and it's not really you know slimy anymore. You've got a creamy ingredient with a, a wet ingredient and sometimes those can take just a minute to get mixed together. Okay. But once they do, they're absolutely delicious. And you didn't have to go to the store and buy three or four different kinds of flavored cream cheeses. Mm -hmm. You made them all yourself. And they seem to taste better that way they too. They do taste better that way, unquestionably. I 100% agree. And a nice thing about this is you could make all of your spreads and everything ahead of time. Mm -hmm and then just assemble the morning of right before you're ready for your guests to come over. Okay, so now that we've got our strawberry cream cheese in here, we'll just spread that right next to the plane. And I noticed you didn't mix it with a mixer. You could mix it with a hand mixer if you want to. I like um, having chunks of strawberry in there and the more you mix it, the less likely it is you're able to keep you know, kind of those, those whole pieces that make it seem like you made it yourself, right? right. And that you didn't go buy it at a grocery store. Next, we're gonna do chocolate cream okay, cheese. Okay, my favorite. We're gonna use a little of that chocolate hazelnut spread that everybody loves so much, and just put that right in with our with our cream cheese. Oh, you could just eat that out of the bowl. You could really you? just eat this out of a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, there's those cinnamon sugar bagels, those fruit bagels, all of those fun flavored ones. This is perfect for those. Yeah. And the cream cheese kind of helps to add a little bit of tang to the, the chocolate hazelnut so it's not quite so overwhelmingly mm -hmm. sweet, mm -hmm. but it's still got wonderful, wonderful flavor to it. And great texture. And great texture. And this one will mix together pretty quickly as well. And then we're just going to set that right next to our strawberry. You could have yourself a nice chocolate covered strawberry bagel mixing these two cream cheeses together. Mm. We'll just spread that out there a little bit. And then the last one, because I know not everybody likes cream cheese on their bagel. Some people are fans of butter on a bagel. We're gonna make quick honey butter. Oh. So just a pinch of salt. I buy unsalted butter. I like to control my salt content in butter. Uh -huh. If you're buying salted butter, you don't have to add salt to it. But we let this butter sit out on the counter. We also put it in the microwave for about 17 seconds just to get it really nice and soft. And we're basically just gonna cover the top of this with honey. Uh -huh and then we're gonna mash it around with a fork. Now you can whip this together if you want a really nice light whipped butter. I actually like there to be 
a little bit of, you know, obvious difference between the butter and the honey when you're mixing it. So I like the kind of strands of honey going through your butter. Right. I think it's kind of pretty that way. I do too. I also think it tastes really good that way yeah, as well. Yeah, when you hit a, a little pocket of honey mm -hmm, like that. Exactly. Now, if you wanted to go one step further, you could add a little bit of cinnamon to this. There's a, uh, you know, local steakhouse that does oh, that yeah. that everybody loves. <laughs> what would that be? <laughs> or you can just leave it honey butter just like this. We're going to spread oh, our wow. honey butter on this board here as well. Now let's move on to our breads. Lisa, you've got a bunch of bagels over there to okay. your right. These are all mini bagels. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I did mini bagels intentionally mm -hmm. because maybe you want a sweet bagel and you want a savory bagel, right? Mm -hmm. Or maybe you want to try a couple of different things there. So with the mini bagels, you've got some options. I have also bought a loaf of this brioche bread. Mm. This is a chocolate swirled brioche bread. You can really get, you know, any kind of brioche bread, it seems. There was lemon at the store. There was vanilla at the store. You can get just plain if you want to. But maybe you have some folks coming that aren't bagel fans and you still want to provide some kind of bread for them. So we'll put this bread out here on our mm, bagel spread board. so good. And then I got some cinnamon sugar bagels. Just spread a couple of these here. We got some plain. Obviously, we want to keep some plain bagels in there. And we're not toasting any of these. You could toast them if you wanted to. I, I don't uh -huh. um, for these bagel boards. We've got some everything bagels because my 14-year-old thinks that that's what makes the world go round. <laughs> and then we're going to put some toppings and other things on here. We want to put, you know, some fruit in case you want some fruit alongside your bagels. We'll do some grapes. We've got some wonderful fresh strawberries here that we've washed with a little bit of vinegar and water. Not just decoration, huh? Not just decoration. You can put these on your bagels, dip them in a little of that yep. chocolate Nutella spread there. And then we want to add some savory along with our sweet. So we've got lots of sweet on here. I like to do either a Canadian bacon or this is a prosciutto, yeah. just some kind of nice salty meat that can go on here. And this is going to tear a little bit, but honestly, that's kind of great. We're just going to fold it down and put it right next to our cream cheese there. And any, any kind of meat that you prefer is fine. If you wanted to do um, salami, you could do that as well, a nice mm -hmm. ham. You wanna avoid the meats that, that you would want to serve warm, right? right? Bacons or sausages or things like that, unless you have a way to keep it warm while you're serving it. This actually looks decorative. It does, doesn't it? It's uh -huh. a lot of fun to put together. So thin. They're super cute. And I mean, they're really delicious. Like, yeah. doesn't that look like something All you wanna eat, right? combination, yes. So that's board number one. And the only thing we did ahead of time was let the butter and the cream cheese soften. Everything else we just did here in real time. Very quick. So let's move on to the next one. We are going to do a yogurt board. So for our yogurt board, you can either get bulk yogurt and have that on your tray. I actually like to do the individual cups um, for a couple reasons. First of all, you've got a lot of flavors here that you can choose from. Secondly, I don't have to wash these cups at yeah. the end of my, my get together with my family. So I've got at least three different flavors here, which I would recommend. You could also do a plain yogurt if you wanted to on this as well. But then we're going to put some toppings together here. So we've got some blueberries. We are going to put some strawberries up here as well. Uh -huh. Lisa, if you'll grab one of those dishes. Oh, of course. And then obviously, if you're putting strawberries with a yogurt board, you want to make it so that your guests don't really have to work for it. So we're going to cut these strawberries into at least bite-sized pieces before we put them on here. Little cross cut there. And again, all of this you could do ahead as well. Mm -hmm. All right, let's put all of our nice strawberries into our dish here. And we'll put this one on here. And then let's do that last dish. And if you'll hand me that granola that's oh, over there, will I? What it all is in that? So this is my favorite granola. It's peanut butter chocolate granola. But obviously you can do whatever granola you prefer. So there are peanuts and chocolate chips in it? Mm-hmm, which honestly I goes awesome with strawberry exists. yogurt. Yeah. Like, it's, it's good with so many things. What a great snack, though. Right? And then we are going to add just a little bit of honey to this board as well, because yogurt and honey are just a wonderful combination mm. with each other. And then if you did have plain yogurt, this is a great opportunity to put some jams and things like that on your, your yogurt board so that people could mix in the flavors that they want. Mm -hmm. You could put coconut, chia seeds, all kinds of different things. I mean, really, if you put that out for a nice morning brunch, super simple. And we did this all under 15 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's wonderful. OK. 